Dustin with Grey Well Entertainment. And I'm saying with Grey Well and Salt Pop. This is the Grey Well Entertainment update for the release day of 3-18-2014. Ton of stuff to go through. Um, we'll start with the uh, vinyl. Um, majority of these, unless I mention otherwise, we have on CD as well. So, um, An album getting massive hype and it's well deserved. Um, great record by War on Drugs. The album is called Lost in the Dream. Lost in the Dream. Um, CD, vinyl, it is fantastic. It should be one if you're high on that uh, indie stuff. This would be big on your list. Uh, Foster the People's new album it's called Supermodel. Um, Follow-up to Torches. There it is. Sisyphus. This is a new project featuring Sufjan Stevens, Serengeti, and Sunlux. It's kind of got like a hip-hop indie instrumental electronic vibe. Electronic deal. vibe. Yep. Very cool. CD and DVD. Or CD and LP. Um, new band on Capture Tracks called Perfect Pussy. Say Yes to Love. Um, Kind of Riot Girl Punk, really good stuff. Girlfriend of Punk Rock, it's really good. Really awesome. Um, La Dispute's new album, Rooms of the House. Taking Back Sunday's new album, Happiness Is. Um, we have this on CD and vinyl. Uh, it comes out, obviously, t on Tuesday the 18th. If you buy it, you can get your wristband for the in-store that's happening on Saturday the 22nd at 2 p.m. So that's now here. Um, some reissues, Kanye West, 808s and Heartbreaks on vinyl for the first time ever. Very big, bulky monster. It's a deluxe collector set. Um, in time for today, which is St. Patrick's Day, House of Pain, Jump Around, 12-inch single, featuring the original mix and a uh, remix of some sort. I don't know who did it. So anyway, check it out for fun. A new project, side project from uh, Shooter Jennings. He has a new record label he's doing. He's releasing uh, on this Tuesday. There's a Jesse Coulter, a Waylon Jennings album, which he recorded with his dad, and then another Shooter Jennings live record. And then this one here, which is, so we didn't show you the other ones, but they're all here. And then we have this one, which is called You Are My Sunshine. It's Jamie Johnson, Twiggy Ramirez, and Shooter Jennings together. So if you're a fan of any of those people or all of them together, it's very, this should be very interesting. Um, and then there is a bunch of um, Joey Cape reissues. There's Joey P Cape and John Snodgrass. There is The Scorpios, which is Joey Cape, Tony Sly, John Snodgrass, and Brian Wallstrom. There's Joey Cape's The Bridge, Bad Loud, and Doesn't Play Well With Others. These are all reissued on vinyl as well as CD. We have them. So, there you go. I have a bunch of metal and punk stuff to run through, so I'm gonna go kind of quick through these, but I'm gonna start with some metal stuff. First up is a Converge new seven inch. Um, it's live at the BBC, features Dark Horse, Axe to Fall, Damages, and Hanging Moon. Really beautiful metallic artwork by, by Jacob Bannon, so um, check that out. Uh, new band from Flenser, or maybe not a new band, but I mean a new release from a band on, on the Flenser, which is a cool black metal label we've been talking about a little bit uh, lately. This is White Suns, Totem. It's kind of noise and black metal and things mixed together. It's uh, a little different than you might think, so check that out. Uh, metal, black metal, metal supergroup Twilight. They stickered this wrong, but uh, it's three beneath, beneath Trident's to tomb. Um, Twilight's kind of just, it's, uh, it's guys from can't list them now but there's a whole bunch of dudes in this band that are from other bands that would get you really excited so and this one features this um one. what's his name from uh sonic youth on it thurston moore thurston moore yeah he's a closet metalhead and he's now in twilight so check that out uh skeleton which is latest or, or not latest but for forever abomination um has been reissued on picture disc lp so really cool illustration there you can get um, also on Picture Disc LP, Carcass's Surgical Steel was the album of the year for a lot of people, including me. It was my favorite. Um, they're going out on the Decibel Tour for this year uh, with Noisem and Gorguts and Black Dahlia Murder. This is the special Decibel Edition Picture Disc that you can only get like this. And it's got all the tour dates and everything on the back. It's very cool. I Am The Avalanche has a new album called Wolverines. There's a new reissue from ASG, Win Us Over. They had the album recently that was really good, and this is a reissue of a older album from them. Ringworm has a new album out. Um, it's been getting a lot of hype before it's before its release. It's called Hammer of the Witch. has amazing, really cool artwork on it. Um, it's on LP and CD as well. So. Oh, 
And then uh, I ended up with this. Dustin should have talked about that one, but I should have given it to him. But the Black Lips have a new album, uh, Underneath the Rainbow. Um, it's getting some good hype. And there's a there's a special 180-gram um, Marble LP version that we have in addition to the regular version. So check that out. And then uh, run through some metal CD releases too. Um, Blast, the band on Southern Lord, Dave Grohl did the remastering on their last like lost album. This is a, this is a reissue of their debut um, album, the cult masterpiece, Expression of Power. So check that out. Did you have the Converge? Did you go over that? The 7 inch? Yep. Um, new band or band called Menace. Um, this is Mitch Harris from Napalm Death. Um, but it's for fans of like Killing Joke, Devin Townsend, Nine Inch Nails, and Mastodon. So it's kind of some weird sounds mixed with like sludgy metal uh, and some technical stuff, I guess, too. So sounds interesting. Um, Doddsford has a new album called The Parasitic Survival of the Human Race. Really cheery and happy. It's on Moribund Records. Uh, I Exist from Darkness. Um, this is on Prosthetic Records, so probably good. Uh, Coffin Worm. Um, this album is called 418. It's uh, in Roman numerals, but it sounds like it's on profound lore. It sounds like if you took coffins and worm rot and you put them together and made coffin worm, it's that like black and super heavy grind um, metal. Gus G, Firewind, and Ozzy Osbourne guitarist has a solo album coming out. So if you're into noodle and guitar solos and stuff like that, you got that. Demon Hunter, Extremist. Um, Metallic hardcore, or, or not metal, it's melodic metal, metalcore. Um, they've been around for a long time, so Christian metalcore. Uh, Hark has a new album on Season of Mist. This is a project featuring uh, Taint frontman uh, Jim Bob Isaac, um, produced by Kurt Ballou, has vocals from Neil Fallon and from Clutch. Um, for fans of Melvin's Clutch, Mastodon on an early Soundgarden, and it, it's going to be right up your alley if any of those are, are hits for you, so it's very cool. Uh, Nervosa's all-female thrash band. The album is called Victim of Yourself. It's got all kinds of good good things written all over it. Right. So, from different magazines. It's on Napalm Records. Uh, and also on Napalm, Conan. Um, the album is called Blood Eagle. And uh, this has amazing artwork, but it's also Doom for All Eternity. And they can rattle your teeth out with three notes as Terrorizer. But they're called Conan, so just listen to them. And then some punk stuff to talk about really quickly. Assassins. New album, War of Aggression. This on is out on fight. Good Fight. Earth Crisis has a new album called Salvation of Innocence. This is on Candlelight USA. Marianas Trench, Ever After. Game Face, Pop Punk Pioneers are back with their first album in over a decade. So there's that on Equal Vision Records. And Buried in Verona, Faceless on Razor and Tie. This is for fans of We Came as Romans, Fit for a King, and Issues. So you know what you're getting into there. We still have a ton to go through. We're going to go fast. Uh, read the descriptions for more, you know, whatever. Uh, Sign, an uh, album called All My Angles Are Right. Uh, it's on home tapes. I'm not really familiar with this stuff, but it's very uh, collaborated with, like, Daedalus and stuff like that. So it's interesting, weird stuff. Shit Robot on Death From Above. New album I like a lot, the new Coat Hangers on Suicide Squeeze. It's called Suck My Shirt. Yeah, good thing I read that right. Uh, this album right here, this is the uh, Sounds of Towns Van Zant Volume 2 featuring John Baisley, Nate Hall, and uh, Mike Scheidt doing acoustic versions, you know, all the kind um, of... Yeah, from the, Baroness, U.S. Christmas, and Yob. Yep. But it's Townsend all acoustic. Because Steve Von Till and those guys have done this record too, and now these are more continuing of that series. Very cool. Uh, Lila Foy on Sub Pop Records. Very pretty voice. Kevin Drew, uh, Arts and Crafts. This album is called Darlings. Guy from Broken Social Scene, if you didn't know that. Uh, Skrillex, brand new full length called Recess. That is a full-length record, not just an EP. Pretty Reckless on Deluxe CD and regular CD. It's called Going to Hell. The Stripes Snapshot. We had one of those um, bonus $2 CDs you could buy. That, and if you have the coupon for that, you can now use it on this CD that's out. Uh, Kylie Minogue's new record called Kiss Me Once. Enrique Iglesias has Sex sex Love. Sex and Love. Oh, Sex and Love. Oh, that's an Anna. I thought it was just a bar. Sex and Love. Um, deluxe edition and a regular edition. George Michael has a new album called Symphonica. 
and it's all vocals featuring symphonic songs and the soundtrack to the movie that comes out this Friday, Muppets Most Wanted. I'm kind of excited to see that actually. Featuring Lady Gaga, Ricky Gervais. Probably a whole bunch of skits too. Oh yeah, there's a ton of stuff from the movie. All the music's done by Jermaine Clement, which is who's from uh, Flight of the Concords. He did the last one, he's done a lot more for this one too. Also have some hip hop stuff. YG, My Crazy Life, Deluxe Edition and Regular, J-Love, Not Destined to Quit, and then this really cool record, uh, Freddie Gibbs and uh, Mad Lib together called on Pinata. Uh, just great stuff, Mad Lib production, Freddie Gibbs lyrics and stuff, very cool. And then a reissue of Souls of Mischief, classic record, 93 till infinity, all done in this nice big deluxe book. Very cool. So that's it for music, basically. Everything I could think of. And now we have some movies. Um, Frozen, the big Disney instant classic, is now out. American Hustle on DVD and Blu-ray. Very good movie, very worthy of the awards and hype it got. I like to really enjoyed that film. Saving Mr. Banks with uh, um, Tom Hanks playing Walt Disney. Uh, Tom Hanks had a good year. Did a couple good movies, that's good. Kill Your Darlings, uh, this is about the beat poets. Um, Allen Ginsberg, Lucian Carr has features you know William Burroughs and Jack Kerouac all your stuff this is apparently what the movie on the road wanted to be but this is better where everyone said um, Mandela a long walk to freedom starring Idris Elba yes that Idris Elba my man crush here comes the devil fantastic strange and unsettling says Fangoria it's a foreign horror film. yep uh, reasonable doubt starring who's in this movie Samuel, Samuel Jackson, Jackson and Dominic Dominic Cooper uh, Jungle Book 2 on Blu-ray for the first time ever. I didn't know this movie even existed, but it does. And then some really cool reissues. Dogs, a 1970s horror movie about dogs gone crazy. Uh, Return to Nukem High, I think that's from the 80s. Well, this is... Is this, is this, a, is this a, new? Yeah, this, so oh. there's the original Nukem High. This is Return to Nukem High. It's actually a modern sequel. To and it's it. directed by Lloyd Kaufman. So awesome. It's an actual trauma picture. There you go. And on Scream Factory, one of the, the first feminist slasher movie ever made written and directed by a woman amy jones uh it's called slumber party massacre and if you haven't seen it you should because it's great and then very quickly one big game release to talk about this week um the new metal gear solid 5 phantom or this is ground zeros this acts as a prologue to the rest of the game which will be released as metal gear solid 5 phantom pain um, so this actually sells for half the price of a normal like triple a title uh on playstation or xbox we've got this on ps3 Xbox 360, PS4, and Xbox One. Um, if you get it on PlayStation, there are actually exclusive missions where you can do some replay stuff from the original Metal Gear Solid. So, um, so yeah, we've got that available as well. It'll be in stores as soon as you see this video, too. There's a ton of other stuff, so don't ever hesitate to come into the stores and ask for the new release spreadsheet or talk about what's coming out. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Graywell, at Graywell SLC. Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Graywell. And there's two announcements for this week, if you hadn't heard. On 321, which is Friday at 5 p.m., The Used will be here doing an autograph signing meet and greet for their new album. Uh, you need to come into any store and pre-order and get a wristband, and that guarantees you get in. I think they're going to have a poster or something for the people that pre-order the album. And then the next day, on Saturday, 322, Taking Back Sunday is playing an acoustic set and doing an autograph meet and greet. And the same thing with that. That record comes out Tuesday. You need to buy the record starting to tomorrow. You can buy the record and get a wristband and come into that event as well. Um, I think that's everything. So anything else, Zane? No. Come in and buy something. Thanks for joining us.